can stay No matter where the howling winds of change may go that's with you by Twin Cities native Peter Himmelman. He's a singer, songwriter. His music's been on uh, TV shows like Bones, Judging Amy, Men in Trees. Well, now he's writing a different story, writing about the next chapter of his life in a book called Let Me Out. In the book, he talks about channeling his creative talents. He's also on a different kind of tour, taking workshops ar around the country, around the world, helping companies and organizations. Really cool. Peter joins us now on Mid-Morning. So glad to have you with us. Great to be here, you guys. Big Muse mm -hmm. is what you call this part of your world. And w w tell us about the workshops. Well, what it is is a lot of companies, a lot of people in general mm -hmm. are looking at change. And whether they want the change or not, it's happening to them. And a lot of times that change engenders a lot of fear and that fear is something that stymies a lot of creativity so what I give them are techniques to s momentarily set aside that fear mm -hmm. and sort of let out their innate creativity I like that momentarily because it can be a lot to let that down mm -hmm. all at once I yeah. think that makes a lot of sense the other thing there's a certain amount of veracity to mm -hmm. what I'm doing I'm not claiming I'm gonna make you an entirely fearless person I mean I'm certainly not I don't think anybody really no one is, is right um, so it's it's realistic it's practical it's fun and I work you know with different groups uh, children from urban centers uh, wounded warriors a lot of major yeah. corporations what's the line for music how did you realize that that creative outlet could be utilized in a different way well I mean songwriting itself is kind of a high-minded mm -hmm. metaphor but it, it has a very rigid structure like all our work does all our relationships do and it also is combined with this very human sort of emotive substance mm -hmm. and the, mm -hmm. it's the combination some people think of it as the left and right brain and I think that music is a very good example of that played out in the world so mm -hmm. part of my metaphor is bringing music to these workshops that I do I like it let's talk a little bit about your book let me out is that talking about letting out that creative side yeah I think it's letting out people talk about sort of their authenticity what happens mm -hmm. to us when we're not afraid in a social environment, in a work environment, is that we start to emerge and our best selves come out. So I, I, that's a, my metaphor for letting out that best self. In the book, there's this concept called, about Marv. Tell mm -hmm. us what that is. Marv is a voice that you know everybody has. You mm -hmm. guys look super polished and great. In, in no matter who you are, up on stage, there's always this voice inside before you take action mm -hmm. that's saying, no, you can't do it, Peter, you're going to get up on this show on WCCO, you're going to choke, you're you're terrible. Mm -hmm. He's trying to save our life, this Marv. It stands for majorly afraid of revealing vulnerability, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this, this yeah. innate yeah. sort of character. It's yeah. part of our amygdala. We all know this. It's in yes, there, right? Yes, absolutely. And he features large in the book, and it's kind of like, the book does not say kill this character, mm -hmm. get rid of him. It sort of says respect his ability, his being you know anthropomorphic, his ability to save your life. If a rabid dog were to come, he would be the one to sort of pull the adrenaline knob. Do there. you find that giving it a, a character and almost a persona helps people understand, you know, kind of fighting that or you know letting it do its job more? It, it's very. I think it's important that just somebody has this cognizance, this mindfulness of wait a minute. There's this, that's just this Marv thing. I can really go on that show. Mm -hmm. I can really take that painting course. I can really, you know, try these new things once we separate it out. So the book gives people this kind of little altitude to see what's going on in our brains and gently push, you know, Marv, give him a New York Times, a latte. Just <laughs> right. cool it's all right, this. Marv. I got right. it. Yeah. You have an event coming up this Saturday. It's a Q&A session. You know, normally Peter charges corporations, I hope, an ungodly amount of money. I mean, they have money, like they should give it to you. But the people can go for free to Open Book in Minneapolis, Saturday night, 8.30. Come on in. Uh, pick Peter's brain, talk about the book, buy the book, and uh, a great opportunity to, to hang out and chat with you, right? Yeah, I hope you come out. Should be good. Peter, really great. Congratulations yeah. on the book. We Thanks appreciate so it. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming on.